Welcome to Wayne's Weird World. Whatever. Gus is off chewing on a bone. Good on him. Ah. Adenium. Flowers finished. I haven't seen any more uh, flower buds coming up. So, I'm going to butcher it. Single edge razor blades. If you can get double edged razor blades, they're a little bit easier to handle. Less likelihood that you're going to cut yourself because they're sharp. They are really, really, really quite sharp. Which is why people use them for shaving, like right? bald heads and whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. If you want to hurt yourself, these are the way to go. But um, I'm going to butcher this thing. <laughs> By the time I finish, it's going to look terrible. Anyway, oh, since I'm going to be making a mess, all right. All right. I've got a couple pots ready. I've got another stack back there. They're ready to go lids, which I will show you what they are for, and then there's a few stem cuttings I'm going to lay in here. Now, these are the leaf cuttings, and I think, if I count it correctly, there's 25 in there. Now, I haven't had the, the heat turned on yet. But the nights are starting to get a bit cool. These have been in 10 days. I always date one of the covers. But there's no root development yet. That doesn't mean, what is that thing? That doesn't mean there isn't hope of. All right. Oh well, gonna have to use my fingers. Ah, there it is. Recipe, a DDM mix, two parts horticultural sand, two parts general potting mix, one part koya peat and manfern fronds and pine bark fronds, all mixed together of course, and one part pea gravel. I don't want big, big, big chunks, but I do need it free draining. So there, huh. that was one of my poor little seedlings that got broken. Let's use this. And, um, yeah, I can make noise on the video. And this is going to be in all the pots for the cuttings. Very nice open mix. But what I'm curious about, because I didn't leave it very long to dry out, let's get this out of the way, is what's in here. I have a horrible, horrible suspicion that it may have started to rot in the bottom. Because some of the flower buds that were there did not develop further, which they should have. If I would have left it alone, but that's okay, because I plan on butchering it anyway. Now I just have to find out, because when you're doing it for bonsai, you take the collar away and you move all the soil away and expose the roots. Uh-oh, they mushy. So that's going to get dusted with cinnamon. I might actually trim it off a little bit. I'm glad I did that because the likelihood is that I could lose it. Now, not completely. Now there's a bottle cap in here somewhere. There it is. Not completely because Yeah.
because none of the stuff above that area is soft and mushy. Okay, let's get this all away. Now, clean it up a little bit. And uh, I might trim it a little bit more. But I was over at a friend's place with Fred and uh, helped him set up an area where he has his, he's going to have his two adeniums underneath grow lights for the winter. Oh! Forgot. Cheers. Little, just a wee nip of whiskey. Okay. I don't need the recipe. You might. I'll put it on the. Uh, put it on the profile. Okay. Now I don't know how much of a mess I'm going to make. So, grab a bit of newspaper. Do not cut yourself. I'd already gone through and put marks. So just above a leaf node and at a bit of an angle, not on the floor. They cut really easily. So do your fingers. And uh, Rather than using secateurs, single edge razor blade will give you the cleanest cuts. Now here you can't see a leaf. If I can bring it closer, the little mark for where the leaf was is sort of like a like a the letter D. Okay? So cut just a few millimeters, an eighth of an inch or whatever. If you're into inches, I'm not. I've lived here too long. Uh oh. Ah, there it is. Okay. One more. There's the mark. Yeah, just an eighth of an inch or so is fine. Three, four mil, three, three would be good. Two is a little bit close, but that's okay. All right. So that's the way that's going to go into the pot. But I'm going to let everything dry out. I think I potted it up too soon the other day. Now, I can take more leaf cuttings, but I've already got a whole 25 of them. So now, I go to where I put marks. There we are. And I take off the leaves as well. These are all going to be left to dry out. I'm going to dust them with hormone ridding powder. And just cut parallel to the stem. Leave maybe, you know, the top two leaves, something like that. But you have to remember, the more leaves you leave, excuse me, yeah, pun, the more leaves you leave, the more the transpiration rate, and they can dry out more quickly. Now the sap, it's sticky, do not rub your eyes. Not a good idea. Now, I don't have a mark here, so I'm just going to cut these leaves. I might leave this one a little bit longer. And uh, this is better doing it this way than secateurs or 
surgical scissors, which I have in abundance, but um, you want clean cuts. Okay, we'll leave that one. I might shorten that one a little bit as well. About, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's stuck. About, okay, underneath that one. Now the stem cuttings that I'm going to use, I'm going to have at least three nodes. Okay, one, two, three, cut. Okay. Now, one, two, three. Oh, I got four. Good, good. Okay. And those will be laid horizontal on the potting mix in the takeaway containers, covered over like that. Now, the third way of propagating with seed will take a little bit longer to flower. And unfortunately, when you order seed over the internet, you don't know how fresh it is. And all of my reading, okay, let's see, one, two, three, okay, cut that one out. They recommend fresh seed. And if it's not fresh seed, the viability goes boop. So, if you know somebody that's growing a denium and they have seed pods, good. Okay, one, two, three, four. That's where I mark the cut. So that's the stem cutting. And this is the tip cutting. Now, if you happen to have a scalpel with a very sharp new blade, sterilized again, I would think that would be a good... Uh oh see? That's how easy it is to cut yourself. And that was just a touch. So, be warned. Not for children. Make sure you are a responsible adult. Uh oh, uh -oh. cut too close. That might not be a good, a good thing. Oh well. I could use some of these leaves for leaf cuttings, but I've already put 25 of them away. And I really don't think I need more. Now there's my mark. Yeah. Blood. Remember, we all bleed red. Doesn't matter about your skin color. We all bleed red. So if you have race, racist leanings about one skin color being superior to another skin color, think again. Think it out, because all too often we're going on gut instinct and feelings and has nothing to do with rational thought. Okay. Ooh, five. And actually, I'll cut this one back right there. And that'll become a stem cutting as well. Okay. One, two, three, four. Let's give it five. Okay. That's a half dozen cuttings there. Stem cuttings. Okay. One, two, ooh, one, two, three, four. Yep. We'll cut that one there. Those are not going to be buried, they're just going to be pressed horizontally. Oh, 
Let's leave this one long. Why not? How many do I have? One, two. Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh well. Split the difference. One, two, three, four. Yeah, all right. Well, if I've survived that little operation with only a little tiny cut, whoop, 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 I think that's pretty good. Now, all of that will get thrown out in the garden. It'll just become more mulch back behind the bamboo and whatever, whatever, whatever. After they dry out, I put them in the potting mix that I prepared. That will sit there. The stem cutting will go vertically and sitting on the on the little cap. And then hopefully, famous last words, instead of putting the roots down, they put the roots out. Which is the whole idea with this one, but this one started to rot. So, I'm going to shave it. Try and save that. Ooh, it's still healthy. Uh-oh. See, that's what I was afraid of. Okay. It's got to have to dry out. The problem is, 